Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a guitar from Kalamazoo. This is the Heritage H150 single cut.
I want to thank Ying Long and Mike from City Music for passing me this guitar for review. Yes, this guitar is available in City Music now. So this is from Heritage. Um, I believed I reviewed a model. I think it's a 535. Um, yeah, so a couple, couple of years back, you know, about two, three years, I don't know. So this is the H150 in a uh, finish that is called Dirty Lemon Burst. Really nice. Okay, so basically this is, uh, or this was was uh, manufactured or crafted in Kalamazoo, uh, in the US. Um, so it's made in the USA, all right? So uh, you have <laughs> a very nice mahogany body with a really nice curly maple top. Now, the uh, finish for this is the uh, gloss nitrocellular uh, lacquer. Really nice, you know, so you have uh, a nice mahogany neck with the headstock that uh, they're so different from you know the other brand so it's heritage now the heritage brand has a history so it was formed uh, very early on by some ex-employees of the gibson company and henceforth they they you know they, they uh, formed uh, this company called heritage but which they did a sell off, and it was based in Kalamazoo. Now, right now, the uh, company is owned by uh, Band Lab. You know, so um, check out, you know, Google the history, and I don't want to talk too much about the history because I might get the facts wrong. But in any case, this is all American made. So you have a bone nut with a nut wheel of 1.68 inch, right? And then a nice uh, rosewood fretboard with a fret radius of uh, 12 inch. 22 frets, nickel, silver, right, in jumbo, and a standard C uh, neck shape. Fretboard is rolled over, so it's very really nice, and you have this cream binding on, on, on the side. You also have the perloid trapezoid uh, fret markers and black dot markers on the side. All right. And for the body, of course, you have this beautiful curly maple top, three way pickup selector switch, right, cream colored pickguard with. Yeah, this is a sticker anyway, you can just tear this off if you want to. Uh, two sets of volume and tone, like any Les Paul uh, guitar. You have the Tunomatic bridge, really stable. And the pickups are from Simo Duncan's. These are the 59 humbuckers for both neck and the bridge. All right? Apple jack is on the side, same. All right? Set true neck. Black backpack for the uh, electronics and the tuners. You have um, very Grover. I don't know where these are from Grover, but you know it's branded as Heritage. There could be Grover uh, tuners, and um, in the back you have the serial number as well as made in USA etched into the headstock on the back. All right now, the guitar is a half, like most Les Paul uh, type guitars. Um, I, I particularly like the. Um, the rosewood fretboard, they have really nice grain, and this neck is so comfortable, easy to play. Now the action is set a, a little bit low, you know, I would just love it a tad higher, but it's okay. Um, easy, easy on the hands, this uh, medium C shape is so easy to play. Right, so you have the pickups, these are the uh, 59s from uh, Seymour Duncan's. Um, I find them to be uh, really nice, clean, right? Um, for the humbucker, for the bridge, they sound really good, you know. But if you were to put this through, say, a overdrive unit or a heavy amp, uh, yeah, it gets really, um, you know, um, how should, uh, hairy. I guess that's, that's the word, hairy. Not fuzzy, though, hairy. So there's an edge to it once it's been driven uh, through an overdrive unit or an overdriven amp. But at, at, a, at a clean setting or semi clean setting, the pickups are really nice, you know. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, calling out the overdriven sound. I think it's, it's great. It's how you manipulate the, uh, your your gain structure, your EQ. You can get a really nice tone if you want to. Suitable for rock, suitable for blues, jazz, country, and even heavy metal if you allow that hairiness. <laughs> the hairy nature of the pickups to shine through. Yes, no problem, no problem at all. So this guitar, in all sense of the word, is versatile if you can mind the weight, if you can stand the weight. So, so I also kind of love the finish. This is the Dirty Lemon Burst. Yeah, and the curly, lovely curly maple top. Nice. Cool. 
So let me know what do you think about his guitar. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Now, guitar is available in City Music, so if you're in Singapore, you can pop it down to City Music or uh, check it out. You know, um, City Music has really nice uh, environment for you to test out this guitar if you want to. All right, and for those of you guys in North America, Canada, guitar is available in Sea Water, I guess. Yeah, and in Europe. Maybe Endertons, yeah. <clears throat> nice. Alright, so let me know. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, press the bell for notification of future views to follow, be part of patrons to support this channel. I welcome my new patrons. Welcome to the band. <laughs> right, I thank you guys for your support and your friendship. Thank you so much. So, in the meantime, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. God bless. <laughs>